once again to Cooking and Travel by Dr. Papare Borwa and here I am with another baking recipe. Here today I will be showing it to you a very simple dahi eggless cake. So I had a lot of dahi at home and I really wanted to do something good with the dahi and so I thought about baking a dahi cake. So I will just show you the ingredients in the beginning itself. I have taken two cups of maida, one cup of milk, one cup of sar dahi or curd, half cup of, uh, ma um, sorry it's olive oil or any type of refined oil, half cup of sugar, normal sugar. We will also need one fourth teaspoon of teaspoons of uh, salt, half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of baking powder. Now of course we'll always need vanilla essence one teaspoon of vanilla essence the first thing what we are going to do is that try and mix up the uh, wet ingredients along with sugar and put it in the mixing and have a nice mix so we will drop in the milk first then the dahi this particular recipe comes very handy when you have a lot of dahi at home and you don't know what to do with the sour dahi. We'll do it, we'll use it for the best purpose. Make a cake, bake a cake in fact. The oil goes in and the sugar. And now we'll give it a big nice mix. So after mixing it in the grind, uh, mixer, this is what we have, the batter. The liquid portion of the cake mixer and now we'll scoop out all from the mixer jar the mixer this is done the next thing we do is that we try to sieve at least three times the dry ingredients right. so we put in the dry ingredients and try to sieve it together and as I repeat, it's very, very important to sieve the dry ingredients to avoid any lumps that might be formed, that might be left. And we put in all the dry ingredients one by one. And before I sieve it, I need to do something very important. That is, I need to preheat the oven. So now we preheat the oven for 10 minutes at 180 degree. Sometimes we can keep it lower, a little lower than 180 also. I normally keep it between 189 and, sorry, 178 and 80. So for 10 minutes this goes and here. So while this goes on, we will now sieve the dry ingredients. We'll sieve the dry ingredients now and we will repeat this two more times. So that means we'll have this. Uh, you know sieving activity for three times and we are ready for the dry ingredients to go into the batter okay. so I'll put in the first lot of the dry ingredient and try to mix it fold it and mix it fold it and mix it the color is beautifully white we haven't put any of what we call chocolate powder or cocoa powder. So we have nice white color there. But that's only for some time. We will add some color and try to bake a marble cake sort of which is eggless. Or might be if we have some batter remaining, we can try out some uh, cupcakes might be. So just on, we're going to do just on one side and we're turning it around like this and folding it and the last portion goes in. Oh, we still have some more. Okay. So we will go on doing this till we have the whole thing mixed up. The batter is mixed up properly. See, it's a thick batter that we have now. So here we will put in one teaspoon of vanilla essence. 
one teaspoon of vanilla essence and then again give it another mix I normally like my better uh, you know look colorful and the cake colorful too so again I will divide it into two portions and give two colors of my choice but before that I'd like to share a trick with you you know it's like you know whenever we are trying to use some dry fruits in the uh, in the cake batter it, it goes down it sinks down so what we need to do is that say for instance we here using some raisins so what we will do is that we will add some maida to the raisin okay coat it properly with the maida and then use it in the batter so then they will not sink down so they're going to go into the batter properly and stay there and not sink down so what that's what we have done coated it in maida I would also like some crunch in my batter so I will also use some chocolate chips now dark chocolate chips some of them just throw in a few of them and give it another mix so the batter itself is ready now thick and ready and now we will divide it into two portions and then we will give two different colors to the batter so now we'll divide the batter into two equal portions and then try to give some color to the otherwise completely white cake right try to keep it same portion same quantity if there's some white remaining we can always put it on the top but we'll try to scrap up everything that's there so that everything goes into the cake and it will come out a big cake we have used two cups of flour so it's going to be quite big and now let us choose the colors you can use any color of your choice so what I've done is that I have chosen two colors here. One is the lemon yellow and the other is raspberry red. So little by little, so it might be too red otherwise. So we'll mix it up nicely. See how beautiful it almost looks like a painting. See the yellow color bright and rich it's going in and giving a nice color to the batter you can add in some more color or we may leave it like that but when it always I repeat this when we bake it the color fades off so I think we can give some more color or we keep it like that no problem and now in the other part this is going to be lovely look at the way it's coming up red color turning to pink with the merging of the white color so these two we'll use up now and of course as i told you we need to do it just in one go and not on both the sides right so we'll put it now this time i have used a different shape a hard shape and now we'll try to put the batter into the Try to keep it separate, of course, they'll always merge in. Just trying to keep it little, little separate as much as I can. So then, right, so one more layer. There goes another layer. Whatever's remaining, we are scrapping it off the other layer. everything that's there some more of the pink remaining put the pink in so we have so this is done and now we're going to just cut it like this so that it gets a different pattern altogether and will emerge once baked 
as the marble cake. After this is done, as I always repeat, you need to do just throw it down. Price at least, we have the bubbles coming up, and your cake will be fluffy once it's inside the oven. So let me pour at 180 degree for uh, 30 minutes first and then we'll put the skewer in and check out whether it's done. Otherwise, we'll put it again for another 10 minutes. Right, so we are putting this in now and keeping it for 30 minutes there at 180 degree centigrade and we'll come wait for 30 minutes and come back and check okay so now it's almost 40 minutes in between i checked it was still it needed still more some more baking so now let's see after 40 minutes yes see all right so the skewer is coming out perfectly well and the cake is ready it's completely baked and we'll take it out from the oven let it get cooled and then demold it so this is the look that we have see how beautifully it i mean it really looks really really good and because of all those work artwork that we had done it looks like the real marble cake and now we'll wait for some more time let it get cold and then we'll demold and i hope it comes out very very tasty Let's try to invert the cake and see, see how beautiful it is. It's really nice. So now we'll have a proper piece out and taste it. See, it's perfectly baked and we have the raisins and the chocolate chips in between. So they're not sticking out to the, I mean, they haven't fallen down because we had used that trick. So I hope you try out this recipe. And it's going to be really, really yummy. Try it out. Your kids will love it. And those who are non-vegetarians can also have a bite of it. Because it's completely eggless. It's an eggless dahi cake. I hope you like it. Do like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you very much for watching.